For part three of the spawn series, we're going to be talking about wacky rigs. A wacky rig is a soft plastic lure hooked through the center of the bait, and it's very effective during the spawn. I don't know why, but the bass just absolutely kill the thing. For rods, I'll sometimes use a spinning setup. Most of the time, I'll use a finesse bait casting gear, such as a seven foot medium rod. And all it is, hooked through the center, and then gives it a tight wiggle on both sides of the lure. I like to use Senko type baits because they're just made for wacky rigging. And a lot of people use circle hooks, but I like longer shank hooks. Just an offset worm hook is good because the fish a lot of times will be hooked deep in the throat because they'll hit it while it's falling. And you need that long shank to get it out of the fish's mouth quickly. To fish it, you just cast it out or pitch it sometimes if they're really close up sight fishing and it'll fall and you gotta really watch the line because they will hit it on the fall and once it gets to the bottom kinda pull it up and then jerk 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 a little half pounder on the zoom centipede watermelon candy color I caught a really tiny bass on it earlier I didn't feel like filming but lost my bait spin and set up Weedless wacky rig. Cinnamon brown, no flake, four inch Gary Yamamoto Cinco. Just a couple casts after that last Here's just fish. some of my favorite baits to wacky rig. My favorite are Cinco type baits. My favorite of all time is the Wacom Crazy Baits Crazy Stick. That only comes in a five and a half inch size, but they are kind of hard to find in stores, so Gary Yamamoto's and Yum Dingers are really easy to find, but I do have problems with their prices and their durability. Just have these in a couple of my favorite colors. But they are easy to find in stores. I throw the Senko type baits on bait casting gear. Another great bait to whack here are the Zoom Finesse Worms. They're a little longer, but they are a lot thinner and have less salt and are a lot less weight, so I fish them on a spinning gear. Houdini color right here. Another great bait from Zoom to Wacky Rig are the centipedes. I have these in watermelon magic color, four inches long bait. Ridges all up down the side. And a great bait to Wacky Rig. Big Boy Baits Jerk Sticks. These are five inches long. I have these in a cinnamon brown color. Big fish bait, just smooth all the way around. No ridges like the Senkos. Big and meaty, love them. And two prototypes Big Boy Baits sent me that are great for wacky rigging. Are these, this is the Wacky Bug. It has the brush bug body and then two tails out there and the wacky curl which is jerk stick body and then two curl tails on either end these are great baits half pounder on Gary Yamamoto Senko green pumpkin small red green flake. pumpkin small red flake Senko nice little fat bass get the hook out pretty deep up in there Zoom, finesse worm, Houdini color. I was sight casting at this other bass, and this one just came out of nowhere. I caught a tiny, tiny bass a little bit ago on a zoom centipede, but I didn't feel like getting it on film because it was just so small. Just got one on the watermelon red Senko. Not that fat. Not that long. Decent one on the Gary Yamamoto Senko watermelon red. Just got this nice two pounder on a Gary Yamamoto Senko cinnamon brown no flake. Awesome fish. Probably my biggest one out of this lake all year. Nice fat fish, healthy. Right on a log. I got another one on the Senko. Really nice fish. Catching a lot of big ones today. Hook pretty deep. We got one on the Zoom Centipede and 
Watermelon magic collar. Nothing special. Got one on the Big Boy Bates brand new wacky bug. I pretty sure I'm the first person to get this lure. Wacky rig. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about wacky rigs. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please tell me below. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.